Welcome in to Cottonwood High School for KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week as we've got an old school rivalry and a region kickoff as the Murray Spartans take to the road to take on the Cottonwood Colts. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Excited to bring you this contest here tonight between two programs that, uh, well, a lot of history between these two. And uh, we'll start with the visiting Murray Spartans. They're coming in off of what's been a tough streak. They started the year off extremely well, but they've lost a couple of their last games. Coach Workman and his group trying to get back on the winning side of things as they kick off region play here in uh, Region 10. But really, it's a balanced lineup for Coach Workman. You have uh, a guy like Quentin Christman, the senior, averaging 14 points a game, five assists per game. Trace Wilson, who can be really dynamic, also a double-figure scorer. Uh, Deacon Poole's been 11 points a game. They have four guys who average double-figure scoring, and they can all carry their own load on the glass, and they move the basketball. It's a really balanced Murray squad. Meanwhile, for Cottonwood, look, they made their run in the state tournament last year. They had so much graduation, and then Chris Cox transferred out of the program over the summer, but guess who's back? You see him right there. Number zero, his first game back at Cottonwood in his senior season. Chris Cox back in the lineup for the Colts, and it's been a group that they've welcomed in a transfer in John Rosevere. They have had other guys step up, like Luke Park. He's averaged 12 points per game. The junior point guard, super speedy. But when you welcome back Chris Cox, a young man who scored over 20 points per game last year, now all of a sudden, this lineup for Cottonwood going to be really tough in Region 10 and in 4A. Can't wait to see what Cox has in store as uh, his first game as a senior here at Cottonwood here tonight as the Cottonwood Coles prepare to take on the Murray Spartans. Murray in the black and orange, Cottonwood in the home whites as we're set for tonight's opening tip-off. Want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times we'll start it early, stop it late, that sort of thing to keep it trued up or close with the official game clock here in the building. Colts, Spartans, ready to go on our game of the week. And the opening tip control by Cottonwood. They're looking right to Christopher Cox, a big 6-8 forward. And that one just missed as Murray gets the opening stop. Here comes the Spartans. We talked about the balance they have offensively. Here's Q Chrisman. Talked about him in the open. That one kept back to Q. It's a team that they take a lot of threes, but they don't rely on the three. If it's there, they'll take it. Here's Chrisman with the first three made for Murray on the road as the visiting Spartan student section races to their feet behind the Spartan bench. A little bit of pressure here from Murray. Cottonwood into the front court. Here's Cox out of the corner. Chris looking to drive. Hanging, hitting, and one. Chris Cox drawing the contact, and he'll head to the line as that foul called on Whitlock. That's his first. Expect to see a lot of that tonight. And uh, you see a very well deep, well built, deep student section for Cottonwood as Chris Cox makes the free throw and we're tied up at three. Across the timeline here with Deacon Poole. They come near side. This is Q. Thought about that junction J and said gives this over with Poole. Deacon in the paint. High off the window. Count that. And the foul. Deacon Poole now will head to the line for his opportunity to three-point play as Oguama called for his first personal. Uh, free throw, good. Back to a three-point lead for Murray. That was Park who had it. Sends over with Rosemary. Back to Luke. Oguama to Cox, defended here by Romaldo, working, trying to dump that off inside to Cizes. This is out off of Murray, and it will be Cottonwood inbound baseline.
Into the corner, Rosevear catch and shoot, won't go. And on the box out, that was Whitlock able to take care and to secure the rebound. Murray top 10 in the RPI, talking with Coach Miller, said this would be big for our RPI as Chrisman, a little fade away, too strong, Cox with it. And Murray there thought maybe a carry, that ball did come in on the body of Cox, but able to handle it okay. Chris in the paint, hanging off the front of the rim, gets his own miss. Trying again, short again. And the rebound to Murray. Here's Chrisman, working with Poole. This is Wilson. Trace had a nice game against Kearns when we saw them just two weeks ago. Trace dribbling out of the corner, working back. Pool now on the penetration. Oh, nice little pivot there. Heads up decision making from Deacon Pool. He's got five early on here in this opening quarter. As you continue to see Murray with that pressure, Cottonwood able to work it up. Five and a half to go here, opening quarter. Oh, nice find over to Cizaz. All started on that dribble penetration. A nice handoff to the 6'6 freshman center, Luca Cizaz. We'll see plenty of him in the coming years. And now a foul. Yeah, this will go against Cottonwood. I think Cox is going to pick up his first. Indeed, that's the call. Second team foul on Cottonwood here in this opening frame. Whitlock handing that back over to pull. Working inside, but couldn't get it now. Run out. Rosevear going to catch up with this one in the corner. Rosevear, we talked about his production coming over from Brighton. He's carried a lot of the offensive load, he and Luke Park, in the earlier part of the year. And now with Cox, can't wait to see how he takes advantage of that. That blocked. Boy, nice job there by Romaldo. He had the early defensive assignment on Cox, and that time gets the block. Murray setting up here once again. Here's Poole, worth Chrisman. Open for Q. That three was just short. Tapped wide. Romaldo can't save that as it's in the bench. He'll go back to the Colts. Good environment here tonight. Good student sections from both sides. And we'll talk about the region 10 opener for these two. Cox. Back over with Park. Chris. We'll send to Rosevear. A little zone here from Murray. They like this 1-3-1. One, one. Rosevear, that three. Might have been deflected there by Poole. Poole trying to drive on Oguama. Got to step off the window. Good quick take and a timeout taken as Deacon Poole has seven points in the opening quarter. Murray with a 10-5 lead on the road. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week presented by Heidemann & Associates. Welcome back. If you have any legal needs, the experts at Heidemann & Associates can take care of you. It's a full-service law firm. They can meet with you virtually. They also have law offices along the Wasatch Front. To find the law office nearest you, visit utah.law. Heidemann & Associates, our presenting sponsor of KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Out of the timeout. We'll see if Cottonwood can get into the flow of their offense. They'll look to the bench here. The next whistle is Bo Smith to the table. And a foul here up high as this will go against Poole trying to come out and defend Cox there. Be the first personal on Deacon Poole. And now we do see Bo Smith checking in. The 6'3 junior will come on the floor here. This is Bo. Cox being defended now by Isaiah Bay, who came in off the bench. Cox pull up three, able to hit it. Let his student section know that's a triple first three for Chris Cox tonight. Ooh, dangerous pass. That just kept in. Just kept in the front court, I should say. And now a whistle here. This call away from the basketball, and this will go on Luke Park. That'll be his first third team foul on Cottonwood. 
As a substitution, they will bring Mason Toy on the Colts will. Quick shot off the inbound, too strong in the corner. Last touch by Murray. That'll go to Cottonwood. Talked about Murray. They're not afraid to shoot those threes. Shooting at about a 33% clip coming into this contest. They hit an early one. That was hit by Chrisman. I haven't hit one since. Park trying to work against Q. We'll send with Tully. Hanging. Too strong. Backside board won't go. And a foul here going to be called on Romaldo. Be the first on Mateus. A third team foul. It's called on the shot. And so Bo Smith here working to the line. He's got a pair of free throws. Bo Smith, a 6'3 junior. Doesn't average a ton of points. About five a game coming into this one tonight. But shoots well from the floor, over 50% from the floor. As Tengis Bayascama, Bayascala, my apologies, but on the floor as Cox gets that miss and put back. And we're tied up at 10 apiece. Tengis Bias Gallen, number 23, the young man who just came on the floor, had to close out there as that three won't go for Q. And a loose ball foul here going to go against Cox. And that will be the second on Christopher Cox. He's going to have to come off the floor here. Rosevere will check in. Cox with eight of the ten for Cottonwood here in this opening frame. Two and a half to go here. Romaldo work back up top. Little zone look here for the Colts. Trap in the corner, able to get that out. Chrisman working back. Plenty of time on the shot clock here, but a three from Poole on the skip. Deacon Poole hitting that three for Murray. What a first quarter for Deacon Poole. He's got 10 in this opening quarter. There's Tolley. Smith over with Tolley. Shot clock down to 10. Rosevear. He found a gap. Takes the shot off the mark. Rebounded there by Bay. Deacon Poole, averaging 11 a game. He's got 10 here already. Oh, Bay left alone in that zone. Isaiah Bay with his first field goal tonight. The 6'4 sophomore. Great job of finding that little gap. A quick pass inside and a quick flick of the wrist. That shot's up and good. Five-point lead. Inside of a minute to go here. Opening quarter. Rosevere. Working back. Boy, who's going to take a shot here for Cottonwood? That ball's moving. Ball's out of bounds on the hurry. Cottonwood basketball. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Haven't been able to get real good looks. Cottonwood here will have it on the side. This substitution. Winlock going to come back on the floor here for the Spartans. As Romaldo will come off. Late substitution to the table. Cizez coming on. Tully looking to drive. Will float it up and good. Mason Tully, nice shot there on the little runner in the lane. Shot clock, game clock aligned. Here to close out this first quarter. Here's Q. Little extended zone here. 
That one deflected, but found its way to Bay. Isaiah working to the rim. Tough shot, won't go. That is tapped out. And it will go back to Codwood here with nine seconds to go here in the quarter. Substitution back on the floor. Luke Park will check back in here for Cottonwood. I was curious if they'd bring Cox on to close out the frame, but they will not. Park dribbled it. That was intended for Rosemere. Deflected at the rim. No call. Bay the he from half court just short. And that will do it. First quarter in the books. 15-12. Murray with the lead over Cottonwood. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week presented by Heidemann and Associates. Want to thank Cottonwood High School, Greg Southwick, Coach Miller, everyone here making sure we're good to go with our hospitality. Always love coming to Cottonwood, especially for this matchup. Was joking with Coach Miller, second year in a row we've had this matchup at Cottonwood and uh, becoming an annual tradition of KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. Murray will have the basketball here to start this second quarter with a three-point lead. It was a good first quarter for Deacon Poole. Had ten points. He's got it now, being defended by Rosevere. Working inside, Bay trying to back down. Nice take, Isaiah Bay. Well, that's good work in the block for the sophomore. That's a familiar name for Murray. We've seen a lot of Bays come through the girls' side. Isaiah, the first one I recall on the boys' side. It's a foul here on the attempt. We'll send Jez to the line here as Chrisman picking up his first. First team foul on Murray in the second quarter. And so Jez, the freshman, with a pair of free throws here. It's the freshman good on the first. I was talking with Coach Miller. He was excited to see this young man in the starting lineup tonight. 6'6". Six, six. Jez making them both. Two for two on the trip. Inside. Here's Bay. Trying to drive on Smith. Bay off the glass. It was a first quarter for Poole. It's been Isaiah Bay who may have six straight points for Murray. Here's Tully. And fouled here. That's nice use of kind of change of pace there by Mason Tully. A little bit of a just hesitation stutter there. Had that defense come up on him and allow to drive theirs. That's the second team foul. Cox back on the floor. Oguama back on the floor for Cottonwood. Rosevere dribbling out of the corner, hanging, hitting. Number four, John Rosevere. John Rosevere with his first points tonight coming on that drive. Out of the corner. Nelson works up top. Bay. Oh, deflected by Oguama. Run out here for Cottonwood. Oguama fouled on the attempt, and Peter now will head to the line to shoot a pair. There's the foul here on Nelson. Number 23, Caden Nelson. That's his second. Will be his second. So Peter Guama had the stripe here for two. First one. As he scores his first point tonight. One more here for Oguama. Makes them both. Good looking free throws. One point contest. Pool on the drive. That was deflected. And they will not count that. Uh, Murray would say that should be a goaltending. I don't. 
happened so quick, I couldn't tell. Peter will pick up the foul here, as it'll be the second personal on Oglava. And we'll send Deacon Poole here to the line. He'll have a pair of free throws. First team foul on Cottonwood here in this second quarter. As that free throw rims out for Poole. So Guava with two and Cox with two here for Cottonwood in this first half. As Poole splits the trip back to a two-point lead. Deacon Poole now at his average 11 points tonight. Here's Rosevere. Over with Park. Cox working near side, has the three. That was off the front of the rim, skipped across. Good look there for Chris. That one blocked. Boy, nice play there by Luca with the block, and it'll be Cottonwood basketball. Cottonwood basketball. Here's Park, skips over Rosevere into Cox from the corner. That was deflected on closeout by Poole, but Oguama's there to put it up and in. Tied up at 20. Quick on the other side, Bay. Little pull up jumper there for Isaiah, he's got eight. Inside, Oguama will send out Park. He'll just take a step inside, oh, baseline two there for Luke Park as he's able to score his first field goal tonight. Approaching the midway point, baseline drive, they'll work to Bay for three. Good look there for Isaiah, up to Cox. Chris, hang it, too strong. Kept here, Rosevere looking for the outlet. It finds its way to Park, now Cox straight away. That pass deflected, but Cox able to maintain. Space, Chris for three, short. And Bay with the board. And a timeout here taken by Murray. 4.25 left here, first half timeout. Murray, you're watching KSL Sports Rewind's coverage of Region 10 opener on kslsports.com. Good look at the Cottonwood student section. Here to support their Colts. They were ecstatic the moment that Chris Cox was introduced in the opening lineup. Got off to a good start. He's missed a couple shots late. Or as of late, I should say. Talking with Coach Miller said, you know, it's like he never left. We ran a bunch of stuff with him in the spring, the summer. We just went back to what we were doing then. He's gone for a couple of months, didn't play anywhere else inside the state of Utah. That transfer and everything went through the UHSA, was approved, and first game back here for Cox tonight. Has eight in this first half as that shot. Couldn't tell if it was deflected or not. Certainly off target as Oguama working over to Cox. That deflected away inside, but Cox able to defend and keep it here with Cottonwood. Oguama will take the three, rimmed out. Chris, that length, keeping it here, going up, count it. And one for Cox. As he's now in double figures and an opportunity to head to the line here to make it a three-point lead is Romaldo picking up his second personal. And the fourth team foul on Murray in the second quarter. Cox had an end one opportunity to start the game. That one, just strong on the free throw. Pass the midway point here, second quarter. Q, works to pool. Got Cox in the air, steps underneath, just short. Rebounded there by Smith. Up ahead, Oguama working back. Cottonwood gonna be deliberate. Park gives to Peter in the lane. 
line. Up just off the mark. Offensive board too strong from Smith. And a foul called inside. We'll send Bo Smith to the line as this foul against Trace Wilson, his first. Boy, the Murray bench. They uh, did not like that call. And I think part of it might have just been the lateness of that call. But you saw the official come in and say, hey, he got him on the forearm. It didn't appear as though Coach Workman had a ton of reservation on that call, but the Murray faithful did not like it. At the line, Smith, good on the first. Been a 10-2 run here from Cottonwood. A one more coming up here for the junior, Bo Smith. And he hits them both. Unofficially first points tonight for Bo. Oh, nice cut. Bay inside. And Chris Cox going to pick up the third. Boy, Isaiah, great move without the basketball. And Cox is trying to close down on it. Isaiah hits the brakes, and Cox just gets into him. And the official seeing it, calling it. Cox going to have to come off the floor here, having just picked up his third. Bay had the line, good on the first. That's number 11, Isaiah Bay. Check into the game for Conwood, number 21, Peter Obama. Obama will check in here for Christopher Cox. Meanwhile, to the table, Drew Dixon for Murray said to come on, and he will indeed come on for Whitlock. Drew Dixon. One more here for Isaiah Bay. Now in double figures, Bay having just scored his 10th point with eight of those coming in this second quarter. He scored eight of the nine for Murray in this second frame. Oguama from the corner. Oh, gets the roll. Peter Oguama with the triple for Cottonwood. Chrisman crossing up, driving off the window, won't go. And the board captured there by Tolley. Cottonwood on the run. Rosevear thought about it. Looking to drive into the teeth of that defense. We'll send. Rosevear. Looking for help. Boy, feisty defense here from Murray. Oguama gives back. Rosevear, the three. John Rosevear with his first three-pointer tonight. Pushes it to an eight-point Conwood lead. And that one given up. Was expecting a roll off that screen. The timing and placement not where it was thought to be. Conwood a chance to go up by double figures here. Two minutes to go in this first half. Here's Oguama. Now Rosevear, shot clock down to 10. Oh, that ball found its way through somehow to Bo Smith, who does finish. Thirty-four, twenty-four. that ball threaded into Chrisman, able to recapture it. Sent out, pool for three. No, rebounded by Smith. Good look there for Deacon Poole, who had 10 in the first quarter, hasn't hit a field goal in this second. Oguama to Smith. And Cottonwood has taken control of this game. A 21 to four run makes it a 12 point Colt lead. Timeout, Murray. Second 
second quarter, he's just scored two of their 24 points. So everyone else starting to find their opportunities and capitalize on them for Cottonwood has been the difference as they have stormed ahead to this 12-point lead. So trying to close out this first half confidently. Meanwhile, for Murray, well, the offense looked good early. Where do they go here? Pool inside to Bay. He's been the guy. And Isaiah Bay with another field goal. He's got 10 here in the second, 12 in the game. Is this stolen by Chrisman? The pressure paying off. Q over to Bay. Extra pass. Baseline blocked by Oguama. Had a chance to see Cottonwood earlier this year and really loved the approach that I saw from Peter Oguama, and he's been that way again tonight. Been aggressive defensively as this worked inside, and that one could not get an opportunity away. We'll stay here. The three on the way, good. That's who Murray needs, Trace Wilson. His first points tonight. It's a critical three for Murray as they cut it to seven. Eight second differential, game clock to shot clock. Oguama to Tully. That blocked by Wilson. Trace up to Q. He had Bay, couldn't get it to him. Shot clock turned off. Handed over. That shot just wouldn't go. And a foul called on the attempt. Drew Dixon will go to the line as Rosevere picking up his first personal. Substitutions for Murray. Blake Vega Chand and Caden Nelson ready to come back on the floor for the Spartans. Two free throws here. And that one just rimmed out for Dixon. That's one more here. Meanwhile, Luke Park going to run to the table here for Cottonwood. Sorry, for Cottonwood. Second free throw here for Dixon. Good. As we get the substitution. First point tonight for Drew Dixon as he'll come off the floor here for these final 15 seconds. Still in that zone, Oguama back with Park. Five seconds, Luke will pull up. Short, rebounded by Murray, and that will do it. First half in the books. Oh, and they said that counted. Isaiah Bay just missed the shot in the first quarter. He hits the half quarter to end the half. As they say that shot was off in time, it'll count 36-33 as I bet. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, presented by Heidemann & Associates on kslsports.com. Getting ready to start our second half. It was a second quarter of runs. It was about a 24-9 run for Cottonwood, and Murray closed out on a 9-2 run, including the half-court heave from Isaiah Bay to cut it to a one-possession difference as we start this second half. It'll be Cottonwood basketball. We'll go through unofficial scoring leaders as we pick up play here. the lead. Unofficial scores. 10 for Chris Cox to lead the way. 6 for Bo Smith. 6 for Peter Oguama. Meanwhile 5 for that young man Rosevere. 4 for Cizez. And 2 for Park and Tolia Peace to round it out for Conwood. Meanwhile for Murray. It was 2 standout players that had their own quarters that they owned. Poole had 10 in the first. 11 at the break. Isaiah Bay had 13 of his 15 in that second quarter. Those are your top two scores for Murray. Three for Chrisman, three for Wilson, and one for Drew Dixon to round out the 33. As that pass deflected, Oguama keeps it. We'll take the three that missed. And Bay with the board. 
Deacon Poole had 10 in the first, 13 in the second for Bay. Who's going to be the double-digit scorer in the third for Murray? Could it be this young man, Poole, back from the corner. And Deacon Poole has tied it up at 36 apiece. Meanwhile, Chris Cox back on the floor, playing here with three personal fouls. Oh, Bay trying to... Oh, and he gets the call, an offensive foul called on Chris Cox. And so that'll be number four. Cox will have to come off the floor. Bay was all smiles knowing that he just put the best player of Cottonwood back on the bench. And look, if you're Isaiah Bay, he doesn't have a foul, so you can try to bait and get that call. It worked. As a foul inside, going to go against Cottonwood. It'll be Murray basketball underneath. And I don't mean to say that that wasn't a charge. That's a call. You, you make the official make a call one way or another. As the foul here called on Oguama, that'll be the third on Peter. So four on Cox, three on Oguama. The bigs for Cottonwood, the fouls starting to add up as two quick fouls on Cottonwood in this third. Back to Poole. He'll try another three. And Deacon Poole hits another three. Unofficially a 15-2 run now put on by Murray. And a foul here. That's before that pass will be the first team foul on Murray in this third quarter as it will be called on Chrisman, his second. No, sorry. Wilson called for the foul, his second. We talked about that big second quarter for Murray. They, or for Cottonwood, they scored 24 points. Only two of those came from Cox, so other guys have picked up the load as Rosevere misses that three. Here's Bay. In with Whitlock, sends out Chrisman the three. No. And Oguama able to collapse down, jar that ball loose, and we'll get a dual possession. The arrow will keep it here with Murray. Pool. Isaiah finding Whitlock, a little bit of space there, sends back up top. Here's Wilson for three. The third three for Murray in this third quarter. And a timeout taken by Murray as the three ball is pushed into a six point lead for the Spartans. Percentage game for Murray and that three ball helping bring him back in. Here's Rosevear. Little spin in the paint, John Rosevear. Good, tough bucket for the junior. Little baseline drive sends to pool. Another Murray three. Deacon pool with his fourth three of the game, three of them here in the third quarter. 
Rosevere working to park. Oh, Guama, patience, giving back to Luke as he'll dribble out. Here's Rosevere. Has Oguama in the corner, the three. Yes, Peter Oguama with the response for Cottonwood. Second made triple for Oguama tonight. Bay hanging off the window, won't go. Second opportunity short. And Cottonwood able to possess. That one's stolen by Wilson. Numbers, Bay. Oh, blocked away by Smith. Nice defensive play, but last to touch it was the Cottonwood Colts. He'll stay here with Murray. What's well, a three on one? That's a great defensive play to prevent the shot there. We've seen a number of blocks on both sides tonight. Good active defenses for each group. Midway point of this third quarter as Wilson back with Whitlock now worked around. Chrisman sending over, Wilson another three. Uh, strong and Bay here will be called for the foul. Loose ball foul here on Isaiah Bay, his first. Uh, substitutions here for Murray, Austin Patterson and Matias Romaldo. Here's Rosevere. Will send to the corner. Smith finding a little bit of space. Nice pass over to the freshman. Luca has scored in every frame tonight for Cottonwood. Back to a two point difference. Poole handing to Wilson. Off the glass, Trace. I really like his game. You watch Trace Wilson. He's got a good combination aspect, good quickness, good length. Just a junior. Rosevere will try the three. That was just a touch short. And the board gathered by Murray. Wilson thought about the transition three. A little step back will work over. Wilson, that's a tough J, contested from 15. And Smith with the board. Rosevere trying to push it. Little pirouette taken away by Poole. And how about the retreat there by Luke Park? No rear view mirror on the fast break, and Park able to knock it out will allow the defense to get back and set up as Mason Toy coming on the floor here for Cottonwood. And one more sub here for Cottonwood. Tengus coming back on here. Wilson right back to the inbounder. Pool. Oh, good cut. Chrisman through the lane. Q. Give the floor number good. It's left here in the third quarter. Cox been on the bench for the majority of it with that four, fourth personal foul. A drive and, yeah, I was going to say, have to have a call there. They do call the block. As this will go on pool. Remember what I said earlier in the quarter? You put the official in position. They got to make a call. Uh, totally being very aggressive on the drive there. A blocking foul called, and Tolley here now with two free throws makes the first. One more here for Mason. As he makes them both. Cottonwood scrapping to hang around here in this third quarter. 
Poole. Inside, yeah. Deacon Poole showing he's got a little more than the long ball to his game. As he's got 22 points unofficially tonight. A foul call here away from the basketball will go on Poole. And that'll be the third on the senior Deacon Poole. And a timeout taken here by Coach Workman and the Murray Spartans. Timeout Murray, 32nd. We'll be back after this. 51-45, the advantage for Murray. we talk about the three ball tonight. Uh, eight made threes, I believe, if quick math works. Been uh, several of them here in the third quarter, have four of them. Has helped Murray come from what was a double-digit deficit to a six-point lead here. A minute and a half to go in the third. Tengus working out. Tengus Bay trying to work baseline over to Old Guama. A little right hand hook won't go. Rebounded there by Romualdo. The senior, I don't have him scoring tonight, but he's made some nice defensive plays. Oh, at that time, Chrisman had a great move to get into the lane, but just left it a touch strong. Here's Old Guama. Inside, Luca blocked away by Wilson. But that ball out of play will stay here. Conwood will inbound. Here's Tangus. Guama tried to send that to Park. The length of Nelson able to steal it away out of the air. Long three from Wilson. No. Rebounded by Oguama. And a loose ball foul here going to be called underneath. I believe on Patterson. And that will be the case. Be the first personal on the junior. And we'll walk down and take free throws here as Fifth team foul there for Murray with 34 seconds left here in the court. So Guama has a pair of free throws. First free throw here for Guama. First one is good. Guama making a ball. Quick substitution for Murray. John Rosier back on the floor for these final, uh, presumably final 34 seconds. Wilson over with Patterson. Good defense here by Conwood trying to make it tough. Chrisman had some room, sends out Wilson, the three, off the mark, offensive board, the kick out, no one home, it'll be Cottonwood basketball with 13 seconds left. 13 seconds remaining in the third, 13 seconds. Cottonwood will get one more chance, get one possession to close it out, that tipped into the backcourt by the D of Chrisman, Park worked over, three from Rosemere, Foul on the shot and John Rosevere will head to the line to take three free throws with 1.8 seconds left. Well, that was a foul the moment it was called. Coach Workman turned around like we fouled him on a three. Coaches, those are, those are ones that no coach loves. You like the hard closeout, but, but man, a foul in that situation. Always tough to give up as Rosier misses the first. Two more here for John. That one good. Substitution Bay back on the floor here for Murray. 1.8 seconds on the clock. Rosevere to make it a two-point difference. He does. Look for Bay. It'll be 
Wilson, and that will do it. Three quarters in the books. It's a two-point bowl game. Murray with the lead against their Region 10 rival in the Region 10 opener. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, presented by Heideman and Associates. Start of the fourth quarter, a look inside the Murray huddle. Boy, what a resilient effort from Murray tonight. They start out with the lead. They trailed by double figures. But, boy, the way they came out in that third quarter, it was three-pointers from all over the floor. Took the lead. Cottonwood hanging around despite Christopher Cox had picked up his fourth foul about a minute, minute and a half into that third. They did not have him for the remainder of that third quarter. And now Cox back on the floor playing with four personals. Cottonwood would love to get their leader on his first game here in this senior season. And Cottonwood running here in this fourth quarter. Cottonwood possession to start it off. 11 points in the third for Poole. He's got 22 in the game to lead all scores. 15, meanwhile, for Bay. Here's Oguama. He'll pull up. Oh, that one just rattled out. Home rims not friendly to Peter Oguama there on the attempt. Here's Wilson. Bay trying to establish himself inside. Oh, Chris Aggressive nearly had that one. Little runner high off the window won't go. Loose ball captured by Oguama. Here's Cox trying to drive. Gives that to Smith. Bo. Oh, wanted a handoff to Rosevear. Just out of rhythm. It'll go back here to Murray. Back on the floor, Deacon Poole. What a night for the senior. 22 points, scored 10 in the first, 11 in the third. Has hit four threes tonight. What a ball game for Deacon Poole. Here's Chrisman. Q got the little angle, wouldn't go, and Cox with the board. Cox has 10. Here's Oguama. Peter, a little runner. Yeah. Oguama in double figures tonight. Unofficially with 13. I think he might have 14. I think I missed one for him, but Q there. That three, boy. A big time shot from Q Chrisman. His second made three tonight. Pushes the lead back for Murray. Cox defended by Romualdo. This was the opening defensive assignment that Murray had on Chris Cox tonight. As Rosevear. Here's Park for three. No, rebounded by Bay. Poole will get back to Chrisman. Inside to Bay. Park able to deflect that from behind. Oh, and Cox fouled here as he was trying to weave through the traffic there. As this called on Romualdo, and that'll be the third here on Matias. First team foul on, Co or on Murray. My apologies. Here's Rosevear. Boy, Poole tough defensively as Poole coming up with the rebound. Here's Romualdo, work to Wilson. Baseline drive, sends to Poole, thought about the three, at least the bench did. Bay in the lane, wouldn't go, tapped up. And this one captured by Smith. Rosevear trying to drive, sends to Cox. Rosevear finding space in the corner, lets the defense fly by. Rosevear ties it up. And a timeout. No, excuse me. A technical called on Rosevear. So Rosevear hits the three. Tease him up.
up and right now boy there's even in the the crowd there was some fieriness As to the line chrisman making the first and makes them both So four and a half to go, two point lead, Murray basketball. Here's Bay. Uh, not much room there. Quickly up the floor for Cox, tried to save it. And that does end up being maintained. Rosevere will take the three. Uh, just off the mark, rebound by Murray. Oh, Guama able to deflect it out, but it will be Spartan basketball near the midway point of this fourth and final quarter of regulation. There's Chrisman. Bay trying to post up Oguama. Oguama having the three personals. Bay attacking him. That was just short. And rebounded, cleared by Cottonwood. Cox trying to push it up the floor. Little step back three. Chris Cox gives the lead back to Murray, or to Cottonwood. His first field goal since the second quarter. 57-56. Smith there defensively, and he walked with it. Murray with a rare turnover. Been a pretty clean game tonight, but that time the traveling violation will give it back to the Colts. Both teams have trailed by double figures at various points tonight. Here's Cox. Hit the three of possession to go. Defended by Rome Waldo. Here's Rosevere. Trying to drive. Cox. Seven on the shot clock. Will pull back. Step back. Won't go. Rebounded by Chrisman. Approaching two and a half to go. And a timeout being taken by Coach Workman and Sparta. Murray basketball trailing by one when we come back. Two and a half to go. 57-56, Murray basketball. The difference right now was a three from Chris Cox. Playing with the four. Oh, off the inbound. They get it to Wilson. Uncontested. The lead back to Murray. Ten now for Trace. And just like the average is four, Murray Spartans in double figures tonight. Rosemere able to score. And boy, that's a nice take there by John. He's got 14. And talk about the Murray Spartans, four players in double figures. Only one player has scored who's not in double figures, and that's Drew Dixon, who hit a free throw. The other 57 points all coming from four players for Murray tonight. Here's Bay. Give it to Wilson. Isaiah trying to drive. Oguama trying to stay vertical. Wilson able to just hold that shot back long enough to get it up and over the extension there. Cox running out of real estate, walking the boundary. My goodness. One minute and 26 seconds. The Murray bench thought may have had too many steps. Officials didn't call it. Chrisman spun away but couldn't keep it. And Murray gives it up. 119 to go in regulation. Cottonwood basketball with. 
with a one-point lead. Full court pressure here for the Colts. Rosemary had that knocked away from behind, and Rosemary has to give the foul to not concede the bucket there. That'll be the second personal on Rosemary. So the pressure of Murray, again, able to force the steal. And it will be Murray basketball, the second team foul, I believe, on Cottonwood. As a quick substitution, Whitlock going to come back on the floor. And my apologies, I said the second on Rosemary. I think the PA said his third. Both teams with plenty of fouls to give. Just two team fouls for Conwood, one for Murray. Cox tried to stay vertical, hence the no whistle there as Wilson couldn't get the shot to go. The second attempt wouldn't go, and Wilson here will be called for the foul, and that will be his third. 64 seconds remaining in the game. Murray now with their second team foul. As we approach the final 60 seconds. Rosevear trying to thread one, but a timeout taken before that shot. Timeout Cottonwood as Coach Miller with 56 seconds left wants to talk to the troops. Timeout Cottonwood. We'll be back. Coming out of the timeout. We talk about the Region 10 opener. One of these two teams going to start 1-0 in Region play. I think most people believe these probably the two best teams in Region 10. They're starting off, facing off against one another. It's been a great ball game tonight. And uh, been a great non-region really start for both these two teams. Is, uh, yeah, they, they all matter now. Of course, they all matter with RPI, but with region championships on the line, every game from here on out is going to be so important as it'll be Cottonwood basketball here out of the timeout. Here's Oguama. Cox working inside right at the rim. Chris Cox, the length can't be defended. It's a three-point lead as Cox now with 17. And the best part if you're a Cottonwood fan is they've got a five-second differential. Game clock, shot clock. Romualdo off the screen, able to score it quickly. And official stoppage here is to get that to the inbound. And a timeout taken here by Cottonwood. 22 seconds left. Shot clock off for the remainder of the contest. Cottonwood basketball leading by one when we come back. Cottonwood basketball, 22 seconds left. One timeout remaining for the Colts. Two team fouls on each side. So Murray can be quite aggressive here defensively as they have a couple fouls to give. Cottonwood getting that in to Oguama. You see that pressure and a foul call here with 18 seconds left. Number two. As Chrisman being called for his second. Third team foul. So just one more foul to give here for Murray. Toy to inbound. In with Cox, trying to navigate through the trap. Over with Rosevear. Boy, they had Oguama, but Rosevear holding there, electing to try to take more time off the clock is foul, and that's the last foul to give. 13.1 seconds left. There's Conwood basketball, and now any foul here on Murray will send Conwood to the line. And the last timeout taken here by Conwood. Final timeout for the Colts. It's a 30 second timeout. We'll stay here one more time. Boy, what a contest we've had tonight. I want to remind you if you want to catch up on all the happenings in boys and girls basketball, there's no better place than KSLSports.com. You can join Dusty Litzer and myself as we've got videos coming out each week through the rest of region play in the regular season in preparation for our state championships where we'll have 6A, 5A coverage for you all the way to crown champions. Of course, 4A now, a lot more depth. We've seen Dixie, we've seen Conwood, we've seen Murray. It's a good classification, and uh, those two teams hoping to be in play for a long postseason run. Gritty. What a gritty contest we've seen tonight. Can Conwood hold off a late Murray charge? 
13 seconds left, no fouls to give for Murray and no timeouts for Cottonwood. Cox in with Rosevear and they'll foul John. So Rosevear will look to the line as Robin Waldo called here for the personal, his fourth. Rosevear with two free throws. Oh, excuse me. That's the fifth. I thought it was just his fourth, so my apologies. Fifth on room wall, though. He is fouled out as Whitlock will come on. Meanwhile, Bo Smith will check in here for the Colts. Two free throws here for Rosevear. The Murray student section trying to make noise. 14 for John. And the first one rattles out. One more for Rosevear. Hit a pair in the third quarter. And good. And a, time, a foul given here. My apologies. Had a little clock issue trying to get that result. 8.5 seconds to go. As Rosevear, I believe, yep, called for the foul. And a timeout here taken by Murray. Timeout. Coach Workman, it'll be a full. We'll step aside. Murray with a chance to tie or win when we come back. 8.5 seconds to go. One foul to give for Cottonwood. Meanwhile, for Murray, the hot hands were Deacon Poole and Isaiah Bay through the first three quarters. Neither of them have scored in this fourth. It's been Q Chrisman and Trace Wilson that have carried the balance of the scoring here in the fourth and final quarter. Where does Coach Workman go? Looking for a road win to kick off Region 10 against the Cottonwood Colts. It'll be Poole to inbound. Here's Wilson for three. No. And it's captured by Rosevear, who is fouled with 2.9 seconds left. Will walk down, and John Rosevear will have two more free throws coming up to put this away for the Colts. Pool called for the foul, his fourth. Rosevear a chance to win it. Conwood looking to empty the lanes. They do have a foul to give still, but Coach Miller looking like no foul, doesn't want to risk maybe a foul on a three. Meanwhile, Rosevear focused on putting it away. He makes it a three-point difference. One more for John. To push it to a four point lead short rebounded by Murray the heave for the tie just short and that will do it Cottonwood starts off region 10 with a 65 62 win over Murray another classic between these two both teams saw double digit leads but in the end it was Cottonwood able to put on a charge in this first fourth quarter 11 fourth helps pace the Colts past Murray. Our player of the game, boy, we're going to go with a pair. We're going to go Chris Cox and John Rosevear. We talked about the fourth quarter, unofficially 16 points scored, 14 of those coming from that duo in the fourth. Cox had seven in the fourth. Meanwhile, there were seven in the fourth from Rosevear including the game-winning free throws for John as the duo of Cox and Rosevear helped Cottonwood get the 65-62 win. Thank you for joining us on KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. What a game. We've got games coming up tomorrow night, and we've got games all next week.
because we start off region play across the state. For Doug Jardine, my name is Dane Stewart. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time on KSL Sports. Coverage of high school basketball only on kslsports.com. Good night, everybody.